Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 90. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 87 to 92. Hey, trick number 90. This person had a database and they wanted to create an average formula that had criteria of month. So, for example, this person wanted to only calculate an average if the date field was August, which is the eighth month, and the um, success failure column was one. And if both of those conditions were met, then they wanted to take an average of all these values. Now, let's scroll down here. You can see there's a bunch of uh, Septembers and some Augusts. Um, and I have conditional formatting on here to show you that this is an August that's not included because there's a zero hour. But this one needs to be, this value here needs to be included when calculating an, and the average. All of the yellow cells here need to be uh, summed and then uh, divide by the count to calculate the average. Before we do this, this whole trick is going to be based on the month function. So in this cell right here, I'm going to say equals month. And what is the month function? Hey, it's a serial number. That's because any date has a serial number. That means the number of days since December 31st, 1899. So January 1st is 1, uh, 1900. January 2nd, 1900 is 2. This day right here is like 39,000 something. But what the month does is it takes that serial number, looks at it, and it will tell you what month. So if it's August, it gives you 8. If I were to change this to 12, so that means December. You can see the month function would deliver a 12. I'm going to undo that, Control Z. Now we're going to do an, a, an array formula here because we have two criteria. Now uh, there, so let's do it. I'm going to do it two ways. One with sum, which will have to be entered with Control Shift Enter, and then one with the function sum product, which doesn't require Control Shift Enter. All right, equals sum. And then in parentheses, I need M-O-N-T-H, open parentheses, this whole range. And I'm going to click at the top and use my Control Shift down arrow to highlight the current region. And then I'm going to hit F4 key. Now, the F4 key is not needed to lock here. That's just a trick to jump the screen when you're way down below somewhere. Jump the screen back up. Now I have to close parentheses, and this month part is uh, an array that would deliver just a bunch of eights and nines, because we only have the months eights and nine, uh, August and September. Then you have to say equals eight, and close parentheses. This whole thing in here, because there's an equal eight, will just deliver trues and falses. If you don't believe me, if you were to highlight this whole thing right here and hit F9, you can see it just delivers a bunch of trues and falses. That's a F9 key is the evaluate key. I'm going to control Z because I don't want to leave it like that. Now I'm going to have to multiply, multiply those trues and falses times what? Well, guess what? We already have, in essence, some trues and falses here. This A column is, was this a successful day or not? 1 means success, 0 means not. So for instance, we didn't want to include this number here in the average. So with this cell at the, uh, selected at the top, I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow, and then F4 just to jump it back up so we can see the screen. And then times what? Because this is already ones and zeros. This is trues and falses. So finally, we just need this column. Click at the top, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4. Close parentheses. Now, this will sum. Now, what would happen? Right here, we have trues and falses. Here's we have ones and zeros. What, were, what would happen if we just added up all these trues and falses times these uh, ones and zeros? It would, in essence, give us a count. So I'm actually going to highlight this whole little bit right here, Control-C, and then come to the end. Remember, it's safer to come up here, but I'm going to try and do it here because you can see it better in the video. Times. I mean, sorry, divide, because this is going to give us the sum. And now we need to count, because we're calculating average. Control V, and I need to close off this right here. Now, if you don't believe it, you could highlight this whole thing right here, and then hit F9, and you'll see, well, actually, let's do the inside part. This right here, and you'll see that it's just going to give us some ones and zeros. So if I hit F9 to evaluate, it just is a bunch of uh, 
ones and zeros, control Z, and then you could highlight this little part right here and F9 to evaluate, and you can see that that's the count. There's 11 of them, control Z. Now, this is because we use the sum function, this is an array formula, so you can't just hit enter, you have to hold control and shift and then tap enter, and there's our average. Now, I don't want to type that all out again, so I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode, and we're going to use the same formula, but we're going to change this sum and sum here to sum products. So I'm going to scoop it all out like that, and control C, and then escape. Right? And that'll keep the little curly brackets there. Notice, uh, if you watch the big array formula video series I uh, produced, uh, you learned all about arrays. But arrays always put those little curly brackets in when you control shift enter. Now let's click here and hit F2 to put it into edit mode and then control V. Now I want to change this to the sum products. You could just highlight that there, S-U-M-P, sum products. And then I'm going to come down here to this sum right here and type, actually, you don't even need to do that. You just put your cursor right there and hit P. And in 2007, you can hit tab here. That's a great new feature. Otherwise, in 2003, you have to type it all out. Now, why do we use sum product? It's the same thing, except for you don't have to use control shift enter. For arrays where you're multiplying and then adding, this is a brilliant uh, function here. Watch this. I just hit enter. That's it. And so, and if you click back up there, no uh, curly brackets. So that's how the 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 problem here was we were trying to calculate an average uh, with multiple criteria, but we had a date column, and we needed to extract the eight from there. So the criteria was a particular month. So that's how to do it using the month array and the sum products. All right, see you next trick. Actually, the next one here, ninety-one. I'll show you how to do the same thing with a pivot table.